Oh my god! I just found out how to extract and convert any color grading from any photo with ChatGPT. It even makes a XMP file. XMP file is the file Lightroom uses to color grade. It's just child's play. So that means I as a professional color grader don't have to do anything anymore. Oh no he didn't! Well that's not true. I'm gonna show you in a sec how to do it on my computer. But I still think if you go to use this method it's basically... Well, it isn't stealing, it's copying. But that's stealing! Be aware of that you're copying someone's work and it's just a tool to help you figure out what somebody did and use it to be inspired for your own work and maybe you'll see how the color grading is made and use it to make a different color grading. Be inspired by each other and don't just, just, don't just copy somebody's work like this. So for the examples I'm going to use my own photos so you never can say I stole somebody else's color grading. But if you want to steal someone's color grading, well, I'm basically telling you. I know what I'm saying. Just let's dive in the computer and color grade some photos. All right, we're gonna steal the color grade of this photo. So this is the raw file of the photo, and this is the edited photo. And I want to copy this, edit to this photo using Lightroom. So let's go to ChatGPT. And important thing, if you're using ChatGPT, use it as a as a colleague. So always ask questions you would ask a person. That's very knowledgeable. I asked ChatGPT, can you make XMP files? XMP files are the type of files Lightroom uses to, to for the preset. The preset files are called XMP files. So yes, I can help you with creating an XMP file for Lightroom presets. If you have specific uh, settings adjustments you want to include, just let me know. Because I'm dyslectic, I'll copy my text because if I have to type it, we're gonna be here all evening. So I'm gonna throw in this prompt and I'm having the photo right here. This is the photo, a JPEG file, as you can see here, is a JPEG. Throw it in here. So I asked ChatGPT, can you backtrack the look of the photo and give me the Lightroom settings? So throw it in and Lightroom is gonna analyze my photo, what Lightroom thinks um, are the settings of this photo. So it now starts analyzing, it takes a couple of moments and now it gives me um, the settings uh, for, the, um, for the photo and it already asked me to compile uh, adjustments into an XMP compatible settings file. So I asked ChatGPT, can you make the, can you make the XMP file for me? So what I noticed when I asked ChatGPT to make an XMP file, sometimes it's an empty file. I copy it into Lightroom and there's no, there's nothing in the file. So sometimes you have to ask ChatGPT again, there's nothing in the file, can you recreate it? So in this case, um, the XMP file with the Lightroom settings has been created. You can download it and use the link below. So this is the download link. It's called the Moody Wedding Style XMP. Sounds interesting. Now we can import it to Lightroom. So we go to Lightroom and import presets. In this case, I'm gonna grab it from here. Go to my screen, import. So now, so let's check out if it works. So to have a greater um, idea of how it works, throw in this one here and let's throw in the the raw file here. So this is the JPEG, this is the raw file. Um, and this is the Moody wedding style preset. So left is a photo as I've edited it in 2021 or 2022, I don't, don't, I think 20, 2022. This is the, um, the edit as Lightroom made it. So this, or uh, ChatGPT made it. So there's a, there's a difference in the greens. You can see it right here, but it's very very close uh, the difference is especially the nuances so the white here is white so as a color grader you, i don't want to be the one have to dress to change color in this case the dress change color so i could adjust it so i think a very important thing about this uh chat gpt will bring you very very far but to make it really great you should still put a lot of attention in the details because the color of the dress and if you Pick the color picker. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> Most of the time, the color picker doesn't work if you do a lot of editing. It's best best thing to do to do it manually to get a better result. 
the green's a little bit like here. So as you can see, um, it, it, it brought me very far. And I think if you see this color grade, it looks really, really cool. It's a great color grade, but still the metal color grader, like grading that, that I did myself is better. So if you're afraid that somebody's gonna steal your color grade, well, they're gonna have an interpretation of it. So maybe this video should be called <laughs> stealing an inter interpretation of your color grading of somebody else. Well, it's not a sexy title. But I think it's very impressive that ChatGPT just made a color grading from just looking at a photo even better than most people can do. Because as a color grader yourself, it's still very difficult to copy someone else's color grading. It's very difficult to do. So that ChatGPT can do something like this is very, very impressive. So then of course, I'm wondering, what do you think of all of this? Should this be banned or is it just a tool for photographers to use because well, a photographer and a color grader are two different kind of occupations. It's not like when you're a photographer, you're a good color grader, or if you're a color grader, you're a good photographer. It's still two different disciplines. What do you think? Should we bend things like this, or should, should we just embrace it and it's something new and people are, some people are gonna use it or some people uh, will never use it? I'm very curious about your opinion. Let me know in the comments. 